All right, what's up, you guys? As always, welcome back to another OE battle against a red opponent, Johnny. And um, yeah, we're been doing good with this team. Um, it was supposed to be a greed and showcase, but so far I haven't really used it. I've sacked it a few times, but that's about it. And I really hope uh, I'm introducing it like I have a chance here of potentially using it for this battle. Um, that's my hopes because I feel I feel I don't have anything to prove, consider how the games have been developing. Um, not to say that I get my easy wins, but rather I feel my opponents are uh, unprepared for a situation and have a hard time balancing out the pressure. So, yeah, I'm basically um, putting myself up in the skies, hoping <laughs> that means something. But uh, yeah, let's see what my opponent brings to the table. Johnny, you're absolute mad lad. This is, this is something else. We see Ditto, we see Pikachu, which probably a Volt Tackle, we see Sorark, Luxray, we see so many cool things. Um, and I feel Ditto is kind of annoying, depending on its Ditto. If the Ditto here is um, like a Choice Scarf variant, I think we beat it. But if it is anything but that, then we're kind of screwed. Or we will struggle. Um, Sorark is not a Pokemon I want to deal with head on, so. An easy lead with here is Gemini uh, or Porygon 2. It most often is the best lead for me because it does allow me to gauge my opponent's uh, potential sets, but also um, see how aggressive they want to be as Porygon 2 is, um, after all, impossible to KO. And um, <laughs> that's why you use it. But my opponent, I mean, this is a cool team. Um, really like the synergy here. You don't, you know, when you battle people on Reddit, um, you usually get the Ubers, you get some mismatch of the almost OU, and sometimes you just get these guys who are doing something weird, and uh, the weirdness, in my honest opinion, could very well beat me. Uh, however, the best part about using crazy instead of download is because you snag those limitations. This means not only uh, sure, my opponent can set up um, his stealth rocks, but I am in theory immune to his stabs. So I have no reason not to go for Ice Beam here and just dent him, because he's losing this matchup unless he has Toxic. Yeah, this is good. Um, Leftovers is fine. I feel his best play now, unless he has Toxic, is actually switch out and switch out to basically anything. Um, I'm gonna just set up my trick room and uh, take it from there. Like if I were him, I'd be pretty darn pissed, or not pissed, but this is this is one of those like moment 22 where it doesn't necessarily matter what you do, you're still in kind of that rough position. He does decide to psychic, however, um, not that it matters. Um, Let's see. I mean, it clearly didn't do anything. Do I want to try to expand upon this and just try to go for that uh, early belly drum? I kind of want to do that. Just try to snag two KOs. We saw Stealth Rock, we saw Psychic, which is most likely what is going to follow up upon here. Rapid Spin. That's cool. No reason to boost yourself, buddy. So this is an anti-lead, most likely, I can only like assume. Um, yeah, let's do this. I mean, if he brings in Ditto and try to counterplay me, it's gonna just be all that much funnier, I think. I really just want to use <laughs> Greedent in a good environment. By the way, I got this Shining Greedent like way back in the beginning of um, X and Y, or not X Y, I mean, um, Sword and Shield. Just never got it trained, so it is fun that I just could, with my battle points, actually trying to save it and fix it because it was horrendously bad EV on it. But you know, it had the right ability, which was nice. You see, up power, yeah, I'm still a regent, buddy. I am still a regent and a very, very fine one at that. So I'm gonna claim my KO, and then I think he could bring in Ditto. I feel Ditto is a play that makes sense. And like I said, unless it is a Scarf variant, yeah, it actually loses to this. Or if it is a Scarf variant, it loses to this. 
He must really be thinking. Yeah, he decides to stand, sacking it. I don't know if that's it. Let's see how we get to see Greed and Works. I, 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 I like it. I have one more turn of uh, Trick Room, and uh, that basically means one more turn of maybe a KO. Let's see, Bleb. Yeah. So like I said, if he's Scarfed, then... Um, then I lose this matchup. But not under Trick Room. <laughs> And if you just had to have no item, then it's a speed time where I can get really, really, really beaten. Let's see. What do you want to do, buddy? I don't want this to be a speed tie. I'd rather have you scoff. I, I don't want to know. I just want to see myself out speeding. Because I sure as hell can take a body snap. Yeah, we go first. I can only assume he was scarfed. I can only assume that. And didn't think about that the Trick Room was still active. It's still here for a second though, like the only way I see him... Theoretically I think most Pokemon here can KO me from this range, but Mimikyu is a safe switch in, yeah. Because the only thing I can do to Mimikyu is actually break its... Um Oh, it has low kick? That's cool. I'm very light, however. <laughs> All things considered, I am extremely light. Oh. Oh. That was a Sororic. That was a resisted hit. I have never seen low kick on Mimikyu, by the way. So so I was like, huh, okay. I, I don't use Mimikyu enough to know what it learns. Here comes probably the real Mimikyu. Um... Poor. I mean, he should have just gone for a dark stab. That would like a dark pulse. I'm pretty sure chaos me, even though I am superbly bulky. All right, here comes a lot of power from this guy. I do believe a play rough is um, chaos us. I believe most things chaos us. Regions is bulky, but uh, it's not that bulky. Oh, oh no. Actually, it's not that bad. Plus two. Actually, it's kind of bad. Greedon won't be able to take a Max Fury movie-ish. So I'm pretty much gonna gotta think this through. I should use Xanamax myself, but this is this is absolute play for him. Um, if you want to keep going, this is the play. Um... Missed the train and all. Do you have anything that can kind of take a hit here? I feel Porygon maybe. Life Orb 2. Oh, there's a lot of... There's a lot of nasty damage going on there. Because you can set up a Trick Room. You can't take anything from him. I feel like Gemini is my only real play. And like I said, I'm not sure I can take that hit. Basically, I need him to get out of the Trick Room. So this is Troy, I can kind of wrap up. But uh, yeah, Gemini it is. It's not going to be able to pull this off, but if it does, I'm going to stall the hell out of him. <sighs> yeah. If I get Trick Room, hopefully I can, uh, or don't have to waste any Dynamax Pokemon, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, mmm. It's not pretty. There's enough all that with a max darkness, I'm sure. Um, because I don't want the max power move on on this guy. That's the thing. And Flay will not be able to take a max star fall. I can't remember which Pokemon of that. Luxray, I think. Yeah, I think overall Flay makes less sense. And I can sort of just get a bullet punch in there and just gauge him. Like, what do we got? Pikachu, Luxray. Oh, come on, buddy. Yeah, you did good. You did way good, buddy. Don't worry about it. Now all I really gotta hope for is um, 
right here to hopefully he doesn't have wood hammer if he has wood hammer i just lose to this mimikyu and that's unfortunate but it's not the worst at least now he's out of it So it's time to um, time to bring in some of my own medicine onto him. Um, go for that max rock ball, I think, just to get the special defense raise. It doesn't necessarily matter, right? Ugh. Like, what's the point? Do I need special defense? Do I need extra shipping? I don't know. Let's find out. Don't have wood hammer. Crying out loud, like if he has a wood hammer, I don't know what to do. He's gonna eat me alive if that's the case. But then again, like if he has wood hammer, then there were never a chance for me to win anyway. Unless a preserved Porygon better to this situation, that is. Player up, good, good. Mm. So we're not screwed yet. But Pikachu could have. Um, that's the thing though, like Pikachu could carry Surf. So the special defense I get from Action Center of the Sandstorm might potentially save me. But uh, that Bimikyu did way more than it should have done, and it, it's something it does. Like, I have a lot of respect for Mimikyu because it's just such an awesome Soul Sands Dynamax Pokemon. That's shiny. That's legit shiny, right? <laughs> yeah, he had Surf. And we stomach it because of the extra special defense. I'm sure it was Light Orb. No reason for him to be in something like Sash. So it's all up to Luxray, that is. Luxray superpower without the guts. Yeah, I think we got this in the bag. That yeah, this was a this was not the most convincing victory. But that was just me thinking I was gonna pull out the um, Greedent early. Uh, actually, Greedent would have been able to deal with Mimikyu at plus two because of its insane bulk. But I really wanted that to uh, belly drum off. So we'll see. Crunch, so not even superpower. Yeah, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. This was a actually cool series of battles, and to my opponent here, Johnny, I mean, you brought a team that very much could have won versus me. That Mimikyu alone might have been able to defeat me. So if you had, if your Mimikyu had Woodhammer, it would have been GG from there. And uh, there was really nothing I could have done about that. So really, really good job, buddy. Um, your team was definitely weaker than mine, I think. So. Uh, just that you got that heavy blown into my team means that you really, really knew exactly what you were doing, and I respect you for it. Awesome job, buddy. Everybody, as always, we're watching. Thank you for doing just so, and uh, you know, have a great day, everyone. Take care.